I'm going to have a hard time explaining what has just happened to this room, I guess, of sports lovers across from where they'll play game four of the finals and where last night game three of the finals was decided because uh, the Denver Nuggets have a cement mixer advantage. They have a garbage truck advantage where Some rough advantage they, too. They have uh, <laughs> they have they have a monster MVP who's going to be very hard to stop, especially when their two chief players are going seven of twenty ones out there when he's not gonna go seven twenty one ever. He's never gonna have a fourteen point game. He's never going to throw up a stinker. It's all going to be giant numbers because he's controlling the entire game. It's only the third time I've watched him, and I think he's the greatest player I've ever seen. And it's a reasonable thing to arrive at. I, I know last and night. I saw Jordan. Well, last night on the broadcast, uh, Van Gun, they were trying to find the words. They were trying to find the words for what Jokic is, and they're like, he would be a star in any era. Yes, if he's a star in this era, he would dominate any era. If this, if this era makes him the most versatile thing we've ever seen, then that is happening across the street. But the cup arrived here and just jostled the room. What just happened in here, people coming from all over across the street, throughout the hotel here, to just be near the sparkly, sparkly thing. And it was so awe-inspiring that I think even Jeremy fell into its swoon. Mm. Jeremy, who's like, what is that? It's just an old silver thing. My grandma, Abuela, has one of those in the backyard. She cooks out of it. She boils water in it. You get me, Dan. <laughs> Casuela's been also in the house for 90 years. Also, for, passed down from grandma. and Probably mom, longer than the, and the mom Stanley was, Cup, Dan. mom was reverent, too, about no one hoisting that. I will say, uh, being in front of it, actually in person, it, the, the reverence around it and watching everyone in the room freak out, sort of, it, it gave me butterflies. My heart fluttered a little bit. It really no, did. No, Jeremy, stop. That was, okay. that was a cafecito. That's, That's why so hockey true. will never catch on in this town, okay? What? We can't take it to La Carreta. We can't hit it with something. We can't. No, we can't. Because oh, if you no. take it to La Carreta, we got we got to grade it. I need to take a picture of the Flanagan's cup with it. Right. No. So That's why hockey's dead in this town. Sorry, Dan. You might have missed your opportunity, Mike. Yeah. Is it gone? He packed it up in the giant suitcase. Yeah. He's gone. He said he says it's 90 pounds. He's always carrying around every day. It's a 90-pound box. The trophy's not, not uh, but he can't have it dented. And it is pretty, man, I'm surprised it's in that good a shape. That's absurd. I know it gets redone and stuff, but that's absurd that that, that, that thing's been batted isn't, around. Isn't it weird that like it's the only cup that we have in American sports or maybe all sports where like nobody gets to keep it? It's it, it's this in cup every year and it goes around as opposed to getting a replica made every year like the oh, NBA. Oh, but this is why hockey thinks and is right that it is better. It is. I mean, it's it, things matter more. Like it, of course they, of course that thing, that trophy has been all over the world at all the best parties and still only hoisted if it is earned. It is the single most prestigious trophy I think in all the sports, and it surpasses the World Cup, which by the way is a pretty lame trophy considering like how difficult it is to win. But the fact that it it's always transient and that it doesn't stay with yeah. you and all you have is your memories with it and it goes off to the next team, but you're always you're etched your into name, it. Your name's on it. It's so cool. Like it, it's it goosies. And the, I got goosies looking at it. it. It's it's not America's most popular sport by a wide margin, but everyone agrees that that's the top prize. The white gloves are just for show, though. I saw him texting with the gloves on. How? Yeah, no, he you know took, how many germs are on your phone? He took the cafecito I, with the gloves on, I don't think it's a germ on, thing. So. I think it's a fingerprint thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Is it a germ thing? No, it's a fingerprint Should have asked it's the It's more cup. of just, I have white gloves on, and I can, I can touch this with the white gloves. It's just for show. You've, oh, seen, the the you've seen the Lombardi trophy after everyone passes it around. It's got eh. all the smudges on it. It's not quite as cool and shiny. Also phallic-shaped. Tony blurted out back here that uh, the World Cup FIFA World Cup trophy looks like a but I, I would argue that most trophies look like a dick because that's kind of like the whole yeah. Well, the, the college thing. football playoff <laughs> trophy looks like both a dick and a vagina, which what? is incredible. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> put it, uh, put it on, put on the poll, Juju. <laughs> 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 Juju. At Levitard Show, uh, do most trophies look, <laughs> no, <he's right. laughs> look like a dick? At Levitard, uh, but the college football, the college football. Yeah. executive yeah. decision. No, thank you, sir. <laughs> I think that's fine. That's probably our one of our least can, controversial. Can you put players. it up on the the poll? Does the college football playoff trophy look like both a d and a vagina yeah, yeah, yeah. at the same damn time? 
This trophy, though, and I don't mean to go all sports reverent on you, but just so you understand what the final is, these people are unbelievably tough, and earning that thing is really impossibly hard. It's impossibly hard to win that thing. Like, you, it hurts. It breaks everybody's bodies. And you couldn't have cared less. Uh, you really embarrassed me. You ar- took a call when we were all taking pictures. You understand that you would have died if you took the hit that Radko Gudis got yeah. in game two. You would have died. It would have killed you. Yeah. It would have killed you. And he's playing tonight. Yeah. And he's playing tonight so he can, on the chance that it could hoist that thing over his He hasn't head. been able to skate in a week because of whatever's happening in his body. He is not the same player that he was earlier, correct? No, he, he's... Well, don't get me sorry. You want to talk rigged games. That whole first period was essentially a second quarter of last night's game. <laughs> yeah, everything is rigged, Tony. Because you, they lost? Well, the, so it was set up for us yes. to get here oh, okay. and then All lose. Right. Look, I'm not going to get into it anymore with you guys, but you need to send that film to the FBI from the second quarter because Tony Brothers totally rigged that quarter. It, why are you yeah, looking Mike, at me like Mike, this? The NBA Finals have been fixed Mike, before. Hold on a second. I've Mike, got it. Just hold They've on. been just fixed hold on, before. Please, just Mike. Across the street. Sure, make sure the soundboard is up, please. Hold on. Hold on. Time to throw away all journalistic credibility and get reckless. Here is something we like to call reckless speculation. You're, You're good. good. I'm mad that Eric Spolstra didn't say, I don't care what you find me. Find me. That second quarter was flatly rigged. It was rigged. I would love that. It was sound. rigged. Mike, do you have that sound? It was back rigged. There? We Mike, do not. Mike, I am hours away from having illustrious NBA elite league officials here. Yeah. Hosting them. It's rigged. No, dude, you're no, 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 rigged. Dude. <laughs> it's rigged. It's rigged. I'm gonna murder. I'm gonna murder you. Yeah. <laughs> I am. He's rigged. Okay, this is not good analysis. Guys, how this does is- Gabe Vincent get called for both of those fouls back to back? Look, oh. Jokic, we all acknowledge his greatness. He can't keep getting away with it. He can't be playing the game a different way and also be better than everybody else. <laughs> they, they they instituted rules for LeBron where they're like, he's just bigger, oh, faster, stronger change, than everybody. So and change occasionally, the rules. Yeah, they change, did it for you're Shaq. You're down to one. You've gone from... How does Kyle Lowry push him to the ground? Jokic was in his well, bag in multiple no, ways. That, Momentum? Okay, that's weak. Mm, come on, dude. Flat-footed? No, that's weak. He, no, and this, this part's fair. Jokic, stop flopping. Like, come on, look at you. You can't do You're that better than team. everybody now else. Now you're seeing it. Like, come on. <laughs> you can't. That second quarter, that was a crazy atmosphere, and it felt like, oh, no, they, Denver's on the ropes. How, are they, how is this team that hasn't actually ever been here going to deal with this? And Tony Brothers wheeled them back into that game. And granted, manageable deficit at halftime, and they kicked the ass of the Miami Heat in that second half. Also, the Miami Heat's defense changed because of how that game was called in the second quarter. Mike, but they also changed it because they have two dynamic players that had a 30-point triple-double for the first time in history, history. together on the yeah. same yeah. court. Yeah, and yeah. Jokic would have been out of out of that game in the second quarter. No, if that game, have. If that game were officiated properly and they actually called fouls on him because he's bigger than everybody else, and yet he still feels a need to put his forearm in your lower back and fully extend it so he can grab an easy rebound. Vinny Goodwill during the press conference said this is the biggest uh, discrepancy in rebounds since 1972. Yeah. Like, they can't play the same way. They're bigger than the Heat are across the board. I understand. And additionally, they're allowed to play a different style of basketball than Miami. That's why they do- they were dominated in the paint. Go get a board. Not just because they're bigger, but because they're pushing in the back, and they allow Jokic to do whatever he wants on that court. Yo, the Heat were 17 of 46 in the paint. The, the effort the effort was bad. Jimmy yeah. Butler said the That's effort was bad. That's not bad effort. That's, That's not bad effort. Oh, ba- Bam had a, a, an atrocious effort. There was a loose ball rebound that trickled. There were four yeah. Heat players around okay. it, okay. and it took look, a bounce, and it went right look, into the arms okay. of Jamal That's, Murray. Wait a minute. We're really going to do this? Yes, Yes, there was a play where the four guys stared at a basketball and it ended up being an offensive no, rebound. What, what I'm doing Denver. is I'm listening to the team leader, Jimmy Butler, say effort was like, a problem. Okay, and every time a team loses, this is. Uh, they did this after Denver won game two. Rigged! 
He wins with that, though. Rigged. Dude. I know. That's Rigged. The that, it is it's a, the trump card. It, no, it's no, 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 that's good. You're that's right. False guys, flag, come on. Fake it can news. Be both, Rigged. It can be both things. They could have kicked their ass, but they kicked their ass because of how the game was officiated in the second quarter. It could just be bad calls, though. It doesn't have to be rigged. I mean, rigged. I, I mean, please, let's get some reasonable. It's Tony Brothers. Let's get. This some... is the only sport Mike. on the planet, only sport on the planet where everybody knows Scott Foster did that. Okay. And yet he gets these assignments. And when Scott Foster, oh, it's, the equalizer is coming to Scott town. Scott Foster wasn't even reffing. I understand, but it's emblematic of the sport. The fact that everyone knows, oh, here comes the extender, and every time he delivers on it, this sport has an issue. I gotta do this again. Yeah. I mean, you're Dan, Dan took issue with how Adam Silver was closely guarding the John Moran thing. We have a sport. This is, this is, this is your. You're good. You're we good. have a sport. You're good. We have a sport. Let me take a deep breath. Yes, please. No, we should take Maybe, a few, let's, How about let's this? Take, take a, a second and regroup. Take a deep breath in the penalty box, please. Oh, oh please. Oh. Because well, he's Spicy. recklessly speculating. He's not, he's, he's not recklessly speculating. I thought specul I was good. He's not recklessly speculating, Dan. He's recklessly ruining my event. That's true. Where I have people come in. I've, like, I, I, I'm coming. Juju, Juju was there last night at the media hospitality. We went there. We shook hands. We kissed babies. We let them know, hey, guys, we're doing this thing. We're very appreciative of everything you guys have done for us at Metal Arc Media. You know, they, they've helped us tremendously over at League Office. And I said, this is our way to say thank you. And they were all very touched. They said, yeah, we'll be there for sure. Like, we're excited to come over. They have an NBA Cares event, but they're going to come over after that. But, like, here's the deal. I mean, now I got my. You're going to make me no. anti NBA Cares. No. Oh, my God. I'm, I, you I know what? Make, how about you anti Mike Ryan? Stop. Stop. Tom, Tom, Tom Tolbert can have a Kaipedinia anywhere else he wants. You're ruining this. You are ruining this for me, Mike. And so is Sony Brothers. He's ruining this for me. We for have an Miami. eight seed. We have a short yeah. team. They're giants. It's hard enough. The guy makes circus shots with ease. And additionally, he's allowed to play by different rules. Equalizer. Right. Just like he did with Shaq. So just just to, like he did be, with LeBron. Right, so to be clear. Just like they did before they integrated the sport for the Boston up. Celtics. He, he, just shut up. Foster to, will do game four. You guys he know he'll be on game four. change the rules to basketball when he loses. I believe we just got the get of gets around here. Yeah. It's not, uh, don't laugh before I've gotten this introduction off the ground. He's going to be all humble and stuff. The man is a legend, and he's a legend in Vegas where it's hard to be a legend. I've seen him, he, his face is ID to get into all the big places. And he's also, though, uh, he's a Florida guy as well, and I think he should be a Panther fan because he, uh, he grew up in Boca, so I don't know where he is, but I believe he's bigger than Wayne Newton now. He's more Vegas than Wayne Newton, and I'm not joking when I say comedy legend for 40 bleeping years. 40 bleeping years and still doing it four times a night in Vegas. You, Carrot Top, Mr. Yeah. Top, are <laughs> rooting for who in this series? I just, you can't say 40 bleeping years. It just doesn't sound cool. You know, you gotta say 40 bleeping years. But uh, yeah, uh, it's gonna be really rough. This might be the hardest decision of my life being from Boca. Uh, I think I performed at the Sunrise Musical Theater when I, was, when I was young. But my roots, I mean, I'm in Vegas. They're listening to me right now. I'm here in Las Vegas and uh, it's tough. I gotta be honest. I, I think I'm my my heart is, uh, is a little more for Las Vegas. What? Um, no! I, uh, I know. No! I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I you sell out. You sell out. Jeez. Yeah, but I'm also for the Panthers. So wait. No. <laughs> yeah, no. you got back a political thing. You, know <laughs> no, you could be fans of both teams. You're yeah, playing I'm, both sides. I'm for raising taxes, but we can't raise taxes. Right. <laughs> so uh, so uh, I'm for both, you know? You know? It's hard to say being from Florida, one indictment could be two. <laughs> you don't have to get all political. You've avoided that your whole life. How did you? How did you manage? This is true. I figured I'm calling it the number one political show in the sports world, and I figured I'd help you get political. Are you? Yeah, uh, no, it's a tough. It's a tough. It's, it really is tough. I mean, it's hard because I do like both teams. Are you cranking it before the game? Yeah. Uh, you mean like drugs? No, I mean the thing where you crank in and you get everybody out. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, are you, are you cranking it before? Yeah, man. Um, no, have I, you ever uh, cranked they, it? They, yes, they have. That's a personal question, but yes, I have cranked it. They give me the. Uh, they gave me that one twice. I've done it twice. 
Um, and apparently Wayne Newton has has, uh, has beaten me by one by one crank. So I was watching. Wayne, I was at game two, and I, I've gotta, I was watching. I've got to catch Newton up crank a crank. It. I got to catch up on a crank. I Wayne looks crank. great. Wayne looks like hell. What are you talking about? Be honest. <laughs> Come on, Karen, Tom. No, That's not no, 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 no. I love, I love Wayne. Seriously, then you can't take out the legend. What's the matter with you? But you no, are. No, I love. I, you are I more Vegas. Wayne. No, you are more Vegas than him, though. You are. I help. No, he's Mr. Vegas. I, uh, I'm Mrs. Vegas. He, uh, we changed one night. We were doing a, we were doing a video. It was really hot, like really hot, right? I looked over and Wayne Newton's hair was dripping. So I went over and I said, "Your I said, I got to, I said, I got to fix your, I got to fix your hair. And, and he looked back at me and I said, it's just drip. It was like a little black, you know, oh, no. guy was dripping. So I, at least I fixed. No, it's natural. It's just naturally dripping. It was naturally dripping. <laughs> you, uh, wait, I want to really, I, wanna, I didn't let him sit there and drip, you know, I thought I should probably no, step in. <laughs> But you have seen Hollywood melt away, vanity yes. melt away. And yes. so you had to laugh to yourself that that yeah. symbol for Vegas excess, that his hair was yeah. dripping down his face. Yeah. yeah, I know what to do. No one else is doing it. The makeup artist like, I'm not touching it. I'm like, somebody fix Wayne Newton's hair. So I took over the... <laughs> I mean... You uh you don't hate the Panthers though because they keep getting no 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 but, no, but their fans I love the keep Panthers, getting love the Panthers great Americans <laughs> no I love a uh, I love uh, I don't know why I'm doing my my Trump impression is the worst in the world but I I just go into it when I you think, need to I think it's pretty good oh is it, is it pretty yeah, good yeah, yeah, pretty I, good I, 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 I told Sasha Michelle Malia that uh Carrot Top does a really good uh, Donald Trump always been a fan of you Bob always been a fan of you. <laughs> I wish we could say the same. Hey, bet. Oh, come on. We're hey, We gotta. We gotta work together. <laughs> well, uh, I love. I love this game. It's very exciting, though. Coming to two to, to two nothing. I mean, it's really this town's going crazy, as you know. And so, uh, they're getting and in I'm the way. Flor Florida's probably going crazy too. Oh yeah. <laughs> are, are they already talking that already? <laughs> Uh, they, uh, you know, the, uh, have you ever been to the arena? Cause it's kind of where you went to uh community college. It's often, it's like in the Everglades. I was curious as to where it was. Cause I said, I've been, to, I lived in Florida my entire life. I don't think I've been to, to that, uh, that area very often. Um, when I went to Boca, oh, I was in Boca. I guess I saw too far from, uh, from there. It's right next to Sawgrass Mills. You what? ever been to Sawgrass Saw Mills? Gr Sawgrass Mills, man, it's been a while, but, uh, <laughs> But they apparently they have a hockey team down there, so that's good. This yes. is a good show. How do we get Gustav Forsling going? <laughs> What's that? How do we get Brandon Montour going? Uh, yeah, like anything else, they're gonna have to get these guys motivated, and that's what they did in the last game. I mean, I think, I think it's just like watching the basketball game last night. I've been, I don't even, I'm not a huge basketball fan, but uh. That series is unbelievable. How close the first, second, third games have been by 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 one like motivating thing, one factor that all comes in. Same as the Knights, they came in really motivated. Now I think we'll see what happens down in. A, do you do you think Florida. Game Three was rigged though? Because we we have some game rigged. Yeah, like the officials NBA. rigged it. Rigged. You mean the basketball game last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah very clearly. Oh, tell, everything's rigged in sports. Yeah, yeah the whole thing is rigged. Guys, yeah. what are we doing? He knows. He knows what he's talking about. Oh, uh, does when Wayne Newton speaks to you, do his teeth when whistle? Wayne, he doesn't. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. They look like they no. whistle. <laughs> he said yes. He said yes. Yeah, I mean, they, every, you know, I'm not going to say, you know, they, he never speaks. What am I talking? He never speaks to me. What are you crazy? He's never spoken to me. There's no uh, eye contact. No, no eye contact. I got to be honest, though. It seems to us, honestly, and I don't know if the Vegas has gotten His to you, the vanity. Teeth whistle. Yeah. That's the ref. They just look at Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> You are faking it when it comes to your sports fandom. You don't care. You don't care one lick about this, anything that's happening in sports Dan, right now. This is how I know. Oh no, I, I fall. I fall back baseball. I fall football. No, but no, but that's just analysis. Yeah. I they look no, no, I know. Like, super I motivated. Like, 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 top, come on. Huh? Super. Am I, am I? Super <laughs> motivated. Top. I am very for these games. I am in the normal in the normal year. I could care Not less you, about it. You're Wait, saying the on. difference in the game is that Vegas was super motivated. 
Well, I think well, I think they were one. They had the home advantage of being home. That's a very loud arena. I think they did come pumped up, fired up. The um, Heat's arena was, was real loud last night. But there was some, but there, was some call, there were some calls in those games in the hockey game too, too that were a little bit uh, people were kind of questioning. So yeah, yeah. I, I always Rigged. say that the ones for yeah yeah rag you know, <laughs> <laughs> so, I think every time when you watch any game, you see these things that are. Uh, in what? sports that are that, are, that just seems planned to me so you're from boca i and... mean even when the co when the coach gets thrown out of baseball games i mean that's kind of it's now becoming kind of a joke isn't it like if coaches just take a seed like ah they're out like you can't yeah. you can't you can't do anything so i, I think that's kind of silly but you're from Boca, and yeah. Lionel Messi is going to be playing his soccer games professionally about I just 15 saw that, minutes yeah. away from Boca. Any yeah. uh, Boca nightlife tips outside of uh, oh. the Blue Martini for Lionel Messi? I say Bo- Boca Tones is like the bed life of fun. What? Uh, yeah, I when I went to college in Boca, there was there was one bar. I think it was still. Is that really what it's called? The Blue is still no, there. I think the it's Blue closed. Martini. I don't think, but it's yeah. The Blue Martini. Wow. It's Lane symbol- Kiffin left town and he took the Blue yeah, Martini I think with it, him. But I think it's symbolic. Yeah, like, Skate Factory. Just a Blue Martini. Just a franchise I think Blue he, Martini. I think he got Publix. I think that's about it. <laughs> I mean, when I went to that that Publix when I was in in college, there was valet parking. And I used to just say they have valet parking at a grocery store. Are you crazy? That's how much money they had. And you know, it's what a great town to be when you're broke and you just have nothing. Living in Boca, where people are driving around Rolls Royces. Hi, how are you? So it's a it's kind of a tough town to to go to school. Well, I mean, you still got the beach. You still got a lot of things you could do, trouble wise. But there's a, I wouldn't think there's a lot of things to do in Boca or town or even down that way. I Except think, I think last time you were on with us, you told a great Nick Cage story. What's your best Vegas story? Like you've lived <laughs> there, you've lived there a long time, and I've seen profiles of you. Seriously, I obviously I need to explain to the audience. I feel like this man is yeah. Been, this man has been comedically relevant for 30, 35 years. It's really now hard. Thirty five. It was it's, forty earlier. It's really hard to do. Yeah, yeah. What happened of the four? I lost five years somewhere. In well, this because you said you didn't like forty years, but you've been doing yeah, it a long. 40. You've been doing it a long time, and you've been doing it in Vegas. How many shows now? How many years? Uh, we've been in Vegas for, th- uh, uh, geez, uh, 29. Really? Of the 40-something. Yeah. We've been here a while. I started when I was six. Oh. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> I would, I would, I would, I would, I would, I was in charge of checking Wayne's hair to make sure it wasn't dripping, and then he would go up, and then when it was my turn, he'd whistle his teeth to his whistle, and I'd go, and I'd go. The uh, no, it's been it's been many years. I've had people come. This, you know, we've had like people come. It's kind of fun. We had you. We had you come to the show. That's not we had um, to anybody. Yeah, not not too much. We had we had the band Queen. Wow. Um, we had Meatloaf come. That was fun. Here's my fun Meatloaf story. So I figured, hey, it's Meatloaf. He's at the show. He named himself Meatloaf. He must have a sense of humor. So, I mean, I call myself Carrot Top. So I uh, I come out and there's Meatloaf, right? Sitting right there with two sides. And uh, no. And um, <laughs> and uh, so, you know, yeah. So I, it sounds like, a, it sounds like a bit, doesn't it? So there's Meatloaf. He's got his two sides. And so... I said, I love you, Meatloaf. And the whole crowd went nuts because it's Meatloaf, right? They was going, oh, my God, it's really Meatloaf. How is he, what's he doing? And so I said, I have a, I, and I had to prepare because I knew, I knew it was coming. So I said, I, I have my favorite Meatloaf song you've ever done. And he's like, what's that? And I said, it's this one, From Me to You. And we played that song. I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. And when I pointed to that behind the big screen is a big picture of a pentaton exercise bike oh come on and the crowd yeah no oh, and the crowd no, it, yeah no, no, no i never come on, man. No. what are you doing what are you doing i was trying to do i was trying to do comedy and it didn't work i mean <laughs> i never i never i never got to meet me after that he kind of booed out but um what do you do and he's no longer with us now. Yeah. And now he's dead. Now he's no longer. He would love just to re talk that story. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> hey, maybe if he did do that, he'd still be here. Yeah, he, right. Exactly. Really? I might have killed really? him. Wow. I might have. Really? You're both. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, you're going to double I down killed, on the fat shaming. I might have killed Mel, I've cut, I might have killed Meatloaf. Yeah. Well, no, that was COVID. Oh, yeah. They COVID got me. The two sides are fine, by the way, in case you're worried about them. They're great. They still come to the show. 
That's a perfect ending. <laughs> Thank you, Garrett. <laughs> Thank you, Garrett. Uh, hey, he, uh, I wish I could have listened to you and Amin go back and forth if he hadn't uh, run away from your, uh, your uh, Trump improv. I feel like you would have done 10 minutes of Trump there. Oh, we can do it now. It doesn't go away. It's simple questions. It really isn't that good. <laughs> it's not that good. Mike Ryan doesn't like that. Mike Ryan <laughs> wants you to know it. <laughs> Mine's not good. Mine is just on, on the stage. That's the whole joke. It's not good. But you're you're good. My, my just, I just get one word, like indictment. You know, that's all you get one word, you know. Folks. That's it. Those certain words. Entitled. Certain words you can China. Yeah, just mm, China. <laughs> Great American. He likes saying that. Horrible American. I have a thing in my show where I said, Ronnie Osmond, never heard of Ronnie. Donnie Osmond, never heard of Ronnie Osmond. All right. Well, Thank- so, so, besides, so besides me, who's, who's, who's the big names you got coming up on the show? Lately? Well, we got Roger Bennett uh, waiting to, oh. to get into the Zoom, and he's probably really confused oh. right now. Yeah. No, he, oh, he's, he's in. He's in now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, there's like a bald head with a, an Austin FC jacket on right there, and the, that's right, uh, oh, Roger great. Bennett right now, who's probably really confused that he sees yeah. Carrot Top in the same Zoom. Yeah. But I don't know how often that probably happens. With Roger Bennett it might not well, be the first time. Yeah. Also, hearing Trump and Obama talk to each other would yeah. be pretty awkward. Right, right. It's well, a well truth, you, uh, so I guess you guys have Carrot Top. You look like Prince Harry in about twenty years time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll take that. I usually. Get- I usually get Sean White on the bender, so I like that better. You're like Sean White's youngest son. Yeah. Oh, younger, even better. Thank you. I'm a schmoozer. It's yeah, great I to think. be with you. <laughs> you too. You too. All right. Well, you guys have a great morning. And you're going to all root for the Panthers, I'm taking it, right? Because you're down in Florida. You yeah. must have to. Yeah. It's we... like a law thing. Yeah. It's like a law. Law. Thank you so much, Garrett. Appreciate it.